Or are there exceptions to the grisly inevitability of decay? In medieval Catholic law, it was believed that the bodies of the saints were incorruptible. That they survived intact in the same condition as the day of their deaths. belief was at the root of many vampire legends and fears of the undead. A body that would not decay could always rise again. This issue was a point of contention between various factions of the early church. Many did not relish the notion of the bodies of their religious heroes continuing a life of their own. The attitude was quite different millennia before in the Middle East. The granddaddy of all non-decomposable bodies is the Egyptian mummy. The process of preserving human remains was raised to a high art over 3,000 years ago. But the phenomenon of mummification was discovered by accident early in Egyptian history when discarded bodies were found naturally dehydrated by the dry, sandy soil. It may well have inspired them to ritually refine the process. Egyptian mummies were made to help the soul survive in the afterlife because the Egyptians believed that the soul needed a place to rest and the best place for the soul to rest was in the mummy itself and therefore the body had to survive the ages. At the height of uh, Egyptian civilization, the Egyptians had an elaborate system of mummifying people. It was really both a combination of just practical drying out the body and making sure it would be preserved, and a whole series of elaborate rituals that went along with it. Organs were removed, wrapping cloths were soaked in special resins, and the discovery of a salt-like preservative called natron all gradually allowed the Egyptians to perfect the process. Once mummification was complete, the sarcophagus was placed in a pyramid for the kings, or deep within massive stone tombs for the lesser nobility. Beneath these sculpted markers, the soul, or car, of the deceased would enjoy an afterlife accompanied by his prized possessions. It took centuries for the ancient Hibamas to develop the techniques to effectively preserve the bodies of their rulers. Over in Thailand, the sanctified bodies of monks are preserved in the belief that the purity of their souls in life has assured that their earthly remains are left uncorrupted. Unlike the Catholic saints of old, however, these monks are on public display and are objects of veneration and worship. Religious rituals are routinely practiced here and the deceased monks have become the centerpiece of Buddhist altars and shrines. In contrast to those in the arid climates of Egypt, these bodies decay at a remarkably slower rate in an atmosphere of smog, heat and humidity. The monk's remains include a dry layer of skin on the skull, fully intact teeth, and hair on the scalp, which believers claim to grow years after their deaths. The same is the case with their fingernails, also miraculously preserved. The overall level of detail that remains decades after their deaths is astonishing. Most recently, in 1995, a monk credited with working miracles passed away. The clippings of his hair and nails are still cut and sold at auction for believers seeking good luck. Coincidentally, the monk's name, Sot, means fresh. No special techniques are used here to keep the bodies intact. 
for such an exceptional length of time. This is not the case of traditional mummification at work. So what is it that preserves the earthly remains of these holy men, long after most cadavers would have rotted away after exposure to the elements? There are a variety of ideas that range from the mundane to the miraculous. Theory suggests that a monk's lean diet results in fewer bacteria in the body at the moment of death, and hence a slower rate of decay. Others credit the particular conditions that existed in the period immediately following their passing. However, no scientific analysis has been done on these remains, which might confirm or deny these more prosaic explanations. But the faithful will doubtlessly continue to honor these sacred remains, seeking healing, good fortune, and salvation from religious shrines that are beyond bizarre.